All right, welcome back to the Four County Real Estate Show. I'm your host, Kevin Carey with Caliber Home Loans. I got Peggy Magdanelli here with me today with Remax Results. Good morning. All right, so we've been talking a lot about real estate, as you know, on this show. We've been talking about communities. What we're here to talk about today is Emerald Farm. Um, so Peggy, tell me what's going on with Emerald Farm, activity-wise, where listings are, things of that nature. I tell you what, Emerald Farm's been really tight this year. There have been only a couple of houses that have sold. Uh, both of them recently within the last couple of months on Humberson Lane. There's one that's under contract and one that sold about it back in April. So we are, like I said, really tight, uh, which is a good thing. I mean, prices are going up. Well, so the good thing is, is that if you remember a couple months ago, if you've been following the show, we were talking about a big donut. Right. right? There I mean, were nothing. Like a couple months in a row, if I yeah. remember correctly. So now we're starting to see, obviously, Hopefully with COVID, we're getting behind. Obviously the CDC just came out with masks. I'm not gonna get into all that politics stuff. Nope. But the point is this, is that people are starting to move. People are starting to list their properties, looking to get into this neighborhood. So tell me about Emerald Farm. Why would I wanna live here? Tell me about the amenities. Tell me about the neighborhood. You've got your finger on the pulse <laughs> of this place. So tell me. Oh, I love Emerald Farm. It's such a beautiful community. Uh, it's a small community. There's under 200 homes, but a city park sits right in the middle of it. So it's, which is where, uh, sorry, which is where I mean, we are. Uh, sorry, right now. I mean, interrupt. Yeah. I mean, we're at the 600 block of Swallowtail Drive. Correct. We're a beautiful location, beautiful park. Mm -hmm. Don't mean to interrupt you, but keep going. Sorry. So the park has a uh, soccer field, softball, baseball field, playground, tennis courts, basketball court, and a pavilion. With, run, with running water and bathrooms. So it's a city park. You can go ahead and, if you're a city resident, and especially if you live close, you can rent it for 35 bucks. You can reserve it so nobody else can use it for the day. Is that like $35 for the day? For the whole day. Yeah. That's great. That's, That's awesome. Very affordable. Yeah. Plus you have a brand new three-year-old uh, elementary school, Butterfly Ridge, which is within walking distance. Just on the other side of that, of Butterfly Ridge, is the new regional park. Now, this has been in the planning stages for the city of Frederick for years, and they finally started on this in 2020. Um, the first part of it is actually in, that's the Sophie and Madigan's Playground. Um, that's their, their phase one of the playground is already in and they opened it up about a month ago yeah. and the kids and all the kids in the neighborhood have been going crazy waiting for it <laughs> right they drive by it all the time mommy when's it gonna open right uh, but you're also you have all you have access to all the city amenities because you live in the city but you're right on the edge so it feels like you're in the suburbs i mean honestly at the entrance to emerald farm there is actually a small farm with cows. That's, yeah. And, yeah. and the summer's farm is at the end of Butterfly Lane where they have a pumpkin patch every year. They do fireworks. It's really a lot of fun. So it sounds like a lot of community involvement, mm -hmm. right? A lot of participation, people getting together, which is yes. always great when you're looking to raise a family or just being in a community setting, just it everyone is. being it's, together. It is, it's right. great. And you're close to schools, you're close to all the commuter routes. So if you have to commute in, you're close to 340, 270, 70. You're also close to anywhere in Frederick. It's 10 minutes from downtown. That's great. No. So basically you get that downtown feel mm -hmm. without actually living in downtown. Right. So great place. Well, Peggy, anything else you want to tell us about ML Farm? Oh, no, it's a great place to live. Yeah, it's a beautiful <laughs> community. As you can see, we're waving to people on location, but look, during this video, we've actually had pictures that we're showing you of all the amenities that Peggy's talking about. Um, obviously, if you're looking for more information, reach out to Peggy. She can get you any kind of information you need on mm -hmm. Emerald Farm. Um, thank you very much, Peggy, for being here today. Thank you Appreciate for having it. Me. First time on location, so hopefully it went well. You guys enjoy it. Nice weather. Let's try to do this a little bit more. Yeah. Um, if you like the show, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, and look for more from the Fort County Real Estate Show in the future. Thank you very much for being here today. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.